This video is brought to you by VAWatchdog.org, the nation's number one independent veterans website, on the web at www.vawatchdog.org. Hollywood has done movies about the war in Iraq, but none like this one. If Green Zone, which stars Matt Damon, seems all too authentic, that's because the actors playing U.S. soldiers are the real deal. Alan Pizzi has more. Being in the middle of this is like being back in Iraq, except it is a movie set in Morocco. The film tells the story of a U.S. Army team hunting for weapons of mass destruction, the WMD cited as the reason for going to war. With the exception of the star, almost everyone playing a soldier here actually served in Iraq, which is why director Paul Greengrass sought them out. It seemed to me that in this film we needed to tap into that huge reservoir of returning soldiers who've got stories to tell. You know, I'm supposed to be leading these guys, and, and they're all, you know, most of them are combat veterans, and they're out of Iraq or Afghanistan, and, and so, uh, you know, it's hard, it's hard to, to give someone like that orders. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a little humbling. The gunner on one of the Humvees is Adam Wendling, who did the job for real for 11 months in Anbar province. He thinks the movie will tell the story behind the headlines. It's a window into the we have to deal with. And that's for everyone that's, that's been to Iraq, not just me and not just the guys on this film. Everyone. Getting the window right requires minute attention to detail, from garbage strewn in the streets to battered Baghdad taxis, rolling wrecks of cars and trucks with Iraqi license plates, and 500 extras in typical Iraqi clothing. The soldiers wear the same gear they did in Iraq, and while no one objects to sprinkle on dust, the degree of realism can be difficult for the soldiers turned actors to handle. Stepping back into a role like this, uh, it was a bit shocking, especially when they have the local people running around and, uh, you know, pretending to be Iraqis, their shots being fired. You have to remind yourself in between takes that it, it's just a movie. And scenes like this one are very close to reality. Hey! It was inspired by this incident shot by CBS cameraman Nick Turner in Iraq. By effect, if not design, this movie will present a counterpoint to the role WMD played in the real war. The movie is first and foremost a thriller, but leading actor Matt Damon hopes it will be more than just entertainment. It takes a step back and observes a very complex issue, really the most important foreign policy decision of, of, of my life. And, and really looks at it in a way that's fair. Whatever audiences take away from the film, the soldiers who are making it close to reality are confident it will speak for those who have served and will serve in Iraq with no political agenda. It may look bad, but uh, it's an accurate representation of what we did over there and the things that we experienced. An ironic twist, truth made plain by fiction. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Canitra, Morocco. The Green Zone will be released in 2009.